the hands of the financially and politically powerful chemical, agricultural, and pharmaceutical industries it is supposed to be regulating. As health consumers, we should not be so naive as to believe the FDA has the resources to truly protect the Americans. Consumer clearly does not, and her little a little bit more. For instance, Lipitor, the number one prescribed cholesterol-lowering drug, brings in $10 billion annually, an amount which is greater than five times the entire annual budget for the FDA. A hugely successful market campaign has made Lipitor the best-selling drug of all time, increasing Pfizer's net income fourfold. She goes, healthy bodies need cholesterol for proper brain function to protect against senility and other ravages of the aging process. Low cholesterol leads to reduced levels of vitamin D, which is necessary to protect against osteoporosis, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, depression, cancer, psoriasis, and atherosclerosis. Go on, go on, go on. Why are statin drugs so widely promoted? The answer is simple. Follow the money. She says the same thing that you do. Okay, now this is another doctor, Dr. Hadler, and we're going to wrap this thing up with what he has to say. He says, I'd have to treat 100 or more people with Crestor for a year to spare one of them a cardiovascular event. Now, the event could be a heart attack, a non-fatal heart attack. It could be a stroke, or it could be a fatal heart attack. It would take a year of treating 100 people to prevent that one event. So y- saving a life is one-third of 1% that they would ha- not have had otherwise. I'd have to treat several hundred more people a year to spare one heart attack and hundreds more to, sp- to spare one stroke. I'm unwilling to even suggest that there would be a life-saving benefit. Are you willing to swallow Crestor every day for two years in the hope that you're one in, in hundreds who just might be spared a non-fatal heart attack? This is the doctor talking. Does it bother you that more of the volunteers on Crestor were, dis- were diagnosed with diabetes than were protected from heart disease? Does it bother you that the person on Crestor develops a muscle disease more than it was, was uh, uh, supposed to have any benefits from heart disease? Or that some have uh, elevated liver enzymes or, or kidney complications? Does any of that bother you? Does it also bother you that some of the other consequences of statin drugs include depression of mental acuity, anemia, acidosis, frequent fevers, weakening of and enlargement of the heart, cataracts, muscle pain and weakness, and an increase of cancer risk. All that to save one-third of one percent taking you, Crestor. Right, and you can do uh, two, one, three wonderful things that we've talked to you about, that everyone comes in and reports how normalizing, how excellent they are in every other way, is Cardiozyme. That helps, the nutrients in there have been demonstrated to help reduce cholesterol to normal levels, get rid of plaque and chelate the toxins out of the veins and arteries, mm-hmm. et cetera, and so forth. Coles, Nutricoles from Biochem, which is a wonderful combination of nutrients that stabilize and keep normal the uh, amounts of cholesterol levels. And the Super Pure Omega-3, why? Because the, f- the, the great pure fish oils improve triglyceride levels and improve help to keep the cholesterol perfect now i just want to say one thing about what you said though we had several people coming in who doctors locally have been trying to put on crestor one lady was slender of asian descent beautiful gal much younger than i with everything pretty much except for having a low little low li- thyroid function uh, and a very slender kind of diet she was told to take Crestor. Her cholest- total cholesterol level was 190. That is low. It's she perfectly was just safe. Told, perfe- and she was only about 50 years old. And right. they automatically trying to dispense this drug to put people on this with all the terrible side effects that can be experienced right. to a, a, a woman of only 50 years old with a cholesterol completely normal range. So they're not even looking to, oh my gosh, well, if it's a severe situation and, and very escalated levels, then we'll try Cresto. Mm-hmm. No, that's automatically given. That's right. Here's a, one last uh, statement from Dr. Mercola, MD. He says, in my clinical experience, which spans more than two decades, 20 years, and thousands of patients, there have been a grand total of three people who actually required to, uh, uh, statins to help to control their cholesterol problem. Three out of 20, uh, many thousands, all right? Wow. Uh, folks, years ago, 200 cholesterol was considered a very safe level. But once the board of approval was, was stacked with, with uh, paid shills from the drug cartel, 
that number went down to 160. Right, now they're after your then, kids. Then 150, yeah. and now yeah. 130. And now they're going to put your children on right. statin and drugs. And they'll have no brain function. Okay. Give, your, give your brains to the kids. I mean, take your brains from the children, put it in the, in the pockets of those pharmaceutical drug lords. Again, it's, it's so a payoff. Criminal. It's all the payoff it, for the FDA. It's beyond belief criminal, and it's, it's mass murder. There's no other word for it. And I know that we can feel powerless. I often do. I often say, <laughs> come on, what can I do about this? I'm doing what I can do. You do what you can do. And don't let them, don't let them do this to you, okay? I, I hope the doctors everywhere wake up to this reality. I'm thankful to this doctor that Dennis quoted and to the many different doctors who go for an, uh, complementary alternative natural therapies working effectively along with dietary change and getting off those sugars and preventing that metabolic syndrome that we talked about, uh, wonderful ways to take back your health. Come to Alive and Well. It's a family-owned and operated business. This family is there for you. Be there for us because we're there to help you. And we're there open Monday through Friday, 9 to 7, Saturday 9 to 6, Sunday 10 to 4. The awesome deli at Alive and Well is open all those seven days a week. You've got, you have to experience not only making the season a happier time, you know how you do that? By letting the deli cater all those wonderful dinners for you. 877-4950. This is Dennis Jones. And this is Mona Jones. It's great to have you here. Thanks for coming and joining us. Next week, we'll be here. You be here. Till then, let us remind you one more time, folks, that Optimum, Optimum Health, Health is alive and well in Kahului. Aloha. Aloha.